Hey everyone, Red here, and today I bring you the new Hit and Run Wraith build. Overall, the past few months, the Hit and Run playstyle has really fell apart due to the Boon Totem meta, but this build looks to solve that with our friend Wraith here. So let's go ahead and break our build down today. Hex Ruin, whenever a survivor is not working on a generator, that gem will regress for 200% normal regression speed until of course it is cleansed. Then we have Hex Undying, whenever a Hex Totem is cleansed, Hex Undying will take its place instead. And any survivors within 4 meters of Dole Totems will have their auras revealed. Third, we have Hex Thrill of the Hunt. For each doll and hex tome remaining on the map, uh, survivors cleansing and blessing speed is reduced by 10% for each remaining totem. So keep that in mind, if survivors are going to try and bless one of these totems, it's going to take a long time. And last but not least, we have, of course, Thanatophobia. For each injured, dying, or hooked survivor, all survivors will receive a penalty of 5%, which stacks up to a max of 20% to repair, sabotage, and totem cleansing speeds. Now, most of the time, you can take whatever add-ons you want, but for this build, there's one specific add-on you're gonna need, and that is the Blind Warrior Green add-on. This allows Wraith to inflict the Mangled and Hemorrhage status effect when he attacks from his surprise attack, or out of stealth attack. If you don't know, this is basically Sloppy Butcher from out of stealth. So uh, almost like a five perk build right here. I did this in the best build. Feel free to check that out as well if you're a Wraith main. Now for the next add-ons, it's kind of a flex. Whatever you want to bring, you can go ahead and bring. I enjoy Swift Hunt the most, so I'm going to bring that. And Swift Hunt is going to increase my uncloaking speed by 12%. That's the build. Let's go ahead and get into today's gameplays. All right, the new map, the Eerie of Crows. This would be a good test for the build overall. But it is a very bright map. Um, uh, my beds are gonna spawn over in this area. The whole point of this is to really get going right away and get a few survivors injured. That way Thanaphobia takes part before they start actually cleansing totems. Much like this. And then we can reassess as we hit survivors, see which way they're going. See if there's any kind of objectives we can kind of break, like pallets. Uh, ooh, she doesn't have a pal here, so we're gonna get, I think, pretty lucky and get a nice down here. Watch him for dead hard. There it is. Cool. Works for me. That's gonna be our first hook, and it's gonna be upstairs. It's actually a really nice hook placement. We lose on dying right away, but with Thrill of the Hunt, that took them forever, so there's not gen progress over there. Or if there is, there's someone who's hiding. Yeah. My thoughts are actually going to be over here then. Here he is. Looks like he's trying to go for the save. He might have seen me. Someone else is going for it. Okay. We still have Ruin up, so we're fine. No one's on the gen back there. I'm going to take a quick look for this hit. If I don't get it, I'm leaving it though. Okay. See if there's any kind of mind game here. No, he's just going to go to Shaq. And that's not where we want to play around. So we're just going to leave that. We got a pallet out of the way. I'm pretty happy about that. I don't see a lot of I mean, uh, gens being worked on. And I can come up here and stop them from healing fully for free. Though I do have to go up the stairs, which is kind of a pain. But it goes for both parties. Here we go. Nice. I want to see where everyone else is at. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely going for two hits here. And I think it's a lot... Uh, unsafer for uh, Dwight here. All right, can I maybe get a quick hit here? I can get a pallet out of the way. He's got a ball. We just hold it forward here. Look for maybe a dead hard. No dead hard. They get ruined out of the way, which is fine because they're really not on gens right now. They left gens for a second, and because they did so, we were able to punish them pretty hard. So, Ruin basically means we're starting the game now. But we have the Thanaphobia up, so I'm not too worried. And Thanaphobia is always going to be a persistent thorn in their side, just because of Wraith being able to easily apply it. We also don't really have to worry too much about boons with this build due to the Thrill of the Hunt, which is really nice. And we got another person caught off guard right here. And there goes Thrill. So, they got rid of every single Hex, but they're at 5 gens. So, 
Now we get to really play out the build. It is within the FOB only, but just look at the time wasted. So we probably buy ourselves definitely more than a minute there overall with time because they were cleansing totems. And totems on this map aren't exactly hard to find. Three hooks in right away. Scratch marks because they ran out here to go for the save. And he's trying to bless, and we're not going to let this happen for free. Alright, tag him, and then we'll get rid of this. Yeah, we don't let that happen. Boons are a severe weakness to uh, Wraith, and we want to try and stop that the best we can. So if he's going to waste time and get the boon set up, we'll just go back through and cleanse him. I am alright with that, especially since they've already wasted so much time with tomes already. We know the one totem's here, and they've cleansed three totems. So there's only so many places that they can obviously have a boon set up. So we'll know those locations here soon. That's alright. I'll eat it. Don't need to. Alright. Do I have anything here for Dwight? I wouldn't mind spending a little bit more time with Dwight. But I won't spend enough or like go to Shack for Dwight. Uh, I don't really need to go stealth here. He's got a pallet up here we can get rid of real quick. There we go. This is also his second hook, which is great. And we get a free hit on her as well, so she can go back and heal again. These are also survivors with uh, health kits, so we're in trouble here. If they decide to really get to healing. But I'm going to come back here. I see him going for the save and pick up now. He shouldn't be able to get that in time. Yeah. Yeah, all three of them have uh, med kits. Which is one of the worst scenarios for Wraith because it eliminates them needing to group up to heal. But, as long as they're saying busy healing and not really on gens, I'm okay. And we know she's over here trying to heal, right? Like, yeah. So we can waste her time here or get rid of another objective really quickly. She's, he's gonna, she's gonna go for a pallet. Darn, I wasn't able to eat it. Feels bad. Fake it, yep. There goes the dead hard, and we got ourselves another down. We're probably gonna ignore the ace this round. Simply because I haven't hooked him yet, and we're on a larger map. You really want to try and get a player out of the game as soon as possible. Um, without trying to throw the whole game for it. Alright, the boon is set up. We know where Dwight's going to set up that boon. He saw the tome over here, so he'll come over here and set up the boon. At least it makes sense. Yeah, here it is. Cool. Tag him. Remove the boon. We'll chase him down later. Or he can replace the boon. I really don't mind. Let's see who's healing up here. Hopefully they don't have like a we'll make it. This might be... Oh, good. That's alright. It's going to be a close game. Just because they have med kits and they got rid of the tomes pretty quick. But we had a lot of pressure from that early game. So I'm pretty okay here. Hey, buddy. There we go. Let's just get everybody injured. Make them all go and heal. Not exactly who I wanted, but it'll work. Dwight there. Dwight fully healed. That's probably a really nice med kit. Now that I think about it. We know Dwight's over there in that area, but we don't really have an interest in Dwight. He might try and set up a boon, though, for later. I'm going to check this gen, go back there. Alright. There was another boon. There it is. See? They want the boon so bad. Nope. I mean, if he's a free hook, I'll take it. I can see them getting, like, one more gen done, but really not much after that. I think we just take the win after that. That gen's not going. This gen wasn't going, so those two gens are the only possibility. So that's their uh, route to get to him. Would be through here. There it is. I just missed her. She came from a different angle. We'll go for her for sure.
Okay, we got Lithe. Nice. Do I want to leave this chase? Ooh, I called her bluff on it. Oh, no. That was a nice try. She definitely tried bluffing it. It just did not go her way. And I see him working on a gen back there. So we're good. Hook her. Get her on almost death. And then we'll head over here. We're not going to cloak up. Uh... Ooh, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe we should have cloaked up. We could have gave him the mangled status. Nah, we're good. We're going to come back over here instead. Oh, yeah, we'll chase her down. Seems mean, but it's the right call. And there's Dwight. We can leave her slugged for pressure and then chase him down. Holy wow, this is a weird little crevice. Okay. I should have paid attention. All right. Wow. He got her up in time. But that's all right. Cool. Let's hook him up and see what we got. Now, Ace will probably be over here somewhere. It's the nearest gen. Either that or he's going to go on the gen that Dwight was working on, which is over here. Doesn't seem to be the case. Michaela will break off and go on her own, probably back on that gen over there. This gen's got some progress. Yeah, here we go. And then there was one. Like I said, I think she's over back this way. That hasn't been tapped yet to start progressing. So let's see if we can catch her off over here. She might have hopped in a locker. Oh, oh, you are so silly. That generator right there had progress from last time. So she was here and there was no blood leading anywhere. So it had to be the locker. So unlucky. Ooh, and for our next game, we have Lampkin Lane. Let's see how we can do. These are two pretty rough maps. Overall, I think Lampkin's a little worse than uh, Eerie, but eh, we'll see. Just because Lampkin has some really rough areas that are pretty safe to survivors. Oh, here we go. Hey, everybody. Yeah, you can't hide from it too hard. Over there. All right. Can I make this a quick down? Give me just one second here. If he's going to drop him like that, he can pre-drop all he wants. I'm going to come back over here for a split second. I'm going to hide from Spine Chill. Okay. Nice. I'm okay with this. We're getting rid of him. We have Ruin up. We're fine. The only downside is I did chase the one survivor over to my totems, which is definitely a lot less good. And now let's deny this. There were survivors who came in with toolboxes. I want to try and shut that down. Nope, sorry. She should have probably used her toolbox there. No window, okay. Do I have anything here? Uh, we get rid of pallet. Hold it forward, get rid of the pallet. We play it later. Okay, that's fine. It looks like they took the time to heal up, which is even better. I'm going to swing out this way. No, nothing. Very lucky. Alright. And she's letting me know that she saw the totem. That's fine. There goes one totem over here. Let's leave her alone for a second. She'll get uh, distracted and come for the totem. Wait. Actually... Yeah, let's push them off. While I have Ruin, I want to keep pushing them off and getting rid of some of these uh, pallets. Yeah, I don't mind about eating these pallets here. It's totally okay. As long as we have the Ruin up, we're fine. We're just getting rid of 
uh, resources later. Nice. We stop her with that. There it is. Cool. Really tough group, it looks like. It's a really rough map, and it's going to be a tough group. So we're going to be playing a lot of resource management this round. We also know that she knows where our totem is. That's fully regressed. We might lose the gen over there. If we do, I probably fall back and play a round of three gen over on this side. That's most likely the call. I'm going to try and push him off of it, though. He just got off. Here we go. Ah, someone took my took her spot. Well, there goes Ruin. It's a little unfortunate. House of Pain up here. And he most likely has... Uh, he dead hearts for that, yeah. Okay. You know, for a teabagger? He, he really didn't do much in any of his chases. They got a lot of split pressure, though. So I'm going to have to really focus on bringing this one back. Maybe even play a little mean here. And maybe look to kind of almost pseudo camp this guy for a second. So he's going for the quick save. Oh, no. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Really unfortunate. Make our way over here. We'll come over here. We'll kick this gen. I want to see it regress for a little bit. Come back this way. We might force the stage two here. Maybe not. He might make the swap. I am totally okay with him making a swap here. Do we do borrow time? Those double tap there it means he probably has borrowed time. There we go. He's most likely a player who's got decisive. Let's come over this way, see if maybe I can read down Steve, because he'll probably pick up before I can get back here. No, cool. And we get an extra injury state. Feels good to me. Alright. Yeah, let's play this out. Hook up right here. And he's right there. They got healed up. I'm going to make him drop this pallet real quick. They might go for the save. Leave him slugged. Create some pressure. Look for the one who's injured who's clearly going to be a little overconfident. Yeah, here he is. Nice dead hard, buddy. Really skillful. 10 out of 10. Best player here. We can hook up here. They're going to go for the save on the hook. We get an extra hook from our left, or they go for the save. Either way is fine with me. We want to try and keep them going back and forth to hooks now at this point. If we can. Do the fake. There we go. Watch for the CJ. There it is. Yeah, I don't fall for that. Alright, we can pick him up. We can hook up. If you guys don't know what she's trying to do there, if you're a newer killer, we call it the CJ tech. What she's trying to do is essentially act like she's going to blind me, so that way I'll try and pick up the survivor, or I'll try and break the pallet, and then she will vault the pallet, forcing me to pick up the survivor. And he wants chase. I mean, I'll definitely play around with it for an idea. He'll just drop out right away, right? Lucky, lucky him. It might be an unbreakable or they're all back there. Now, don't ever get too tempted by someone teabagging. It's really not that big of a deal. They're going to try and group heal, I think, back here. And we're going to try and stop that. Last thing we want is these guys all sitting up together and uh, healing up. And they're definitely looking for a spot. Here we go. Well, it's him. Not really what I was looking for. We have her as well. Maybe she had Unbreakable. 
That could be an option, right? No, there it is. We'll go for Steve here. There it is. And everyone here has dead heart too, so we're really starting to put on the pressure. And with four stacks of the Naphobia, even if they're on gens trying to work on them, it's going to slow down. They had a really good start, but I think they're going to throw it. We have one cocky survivor who's up here in the building, who probably feels pretty safe right now because I'm on the other side of the map. So he'll probably work on this gen, yeah? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Imagine that, man. All right. Leave him for a second. I want to kick this gen. They got to go for the save, so we're fine. It doesn't seem like kicking a gen does a lot, but if you have a moment to kick a gen, it does help out. It might save you a few seconds, or you might be able to pressure the survivors away from the gen for a long period of time and actually get quite the regression on it. And remember, this build here is all about stalling out. Look at that. I feel like that's a common sight, isn't it? The one who teabags the most dies first. Upstairs. And see, she moved off this gen completely and came over here. Okay. Watch for the dead hard. I, yeah, I tried watching for it, but uh, yeah. One of these, there it is. Like, one of these times she's not going to do it. Nice try. That click there was to try and, like, move her body character to look at me. To, uh, make me miss, uh, gauge the distance. I'm actually really happy about this. I want to come up here and kick this gen. I'm going to be hovering a little bit here by the hook. But again, we're getting a lot of things in motion here. And they took the time to heal up instead. And here they are. So now we know where both of them roughly were. I hear him working on the totem. Right? I did, yeah. They'll go ahead, they'll make the swap here, and... Nice. Yeah, we're not going to let them go ahead and get this for free. We're going to chase this down if she has borrowed time and punish it. At least make another slug out. Yeah, I'm just going to swing. Pretty sure she has DS. Does he come for the slug then? No. Okay, let's go ahead and... Yes, he did. Nope. And there we go. And that is how we clean up a game on Haddonfield. Ooh, with some really greedy survivor. I want to say greedy survivor. Because the other ones really didn't do anything that would kind of be showboating. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the build. Try it out in your games and let me know what you think. I think it's doing really well lately. So, much love and until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.